Before we get started, remember that this is just based on the alpha footage and that there will be plenty of balance changes before the final release of New World. I can't stress this enough. Play the weapon that looks the most fun to you. We have no idea what will be strong when the game fully releases. However, if you want to have fun beating up on the other players in the closed beta, then these weapons may still be some of the strongest. So sit back and enjoy as I attempt to create the first New World weapons tier list. Number 7. So we will start with what we assume is currently the weakest weapon in the alpha, and that is sadly going to be the Fire Staff. The Fire Staff looks like it has very, very weak damage in the gameplay we have seen. It seems that if players are able to completely ignore the players using the Fire Staff, as they don't lose much health from the Fire Staff's ability shown. I'm sure we may find some Fire Staff buffs before final release, as it seems very underwhelming at this point in time. It seems most effective in PvP areas like War, where there are control points and the staff can cast AoE abilities on the control points from the looks of it. That deals okay damage depending on how many people are grouped up. Number 6. Next we have the Musket. The Musket seems to have an insane reload time with an easy hit scan looking shot to it. This makes the Musket a bit easier to shoot than the Bow, however the damage does not make up for the time to reload. The bow shoots much, much quicker, therefore finds itself at a tad higher spot than the musket. The musket may be used when facing targets at a longer range, as the bow seems to have a much larger drop-off rate. The musket will remain decent as a PvE weapon that allows you to stay safe and healthy, and potentially decent at very, very long range PvP. Number 5. Now we have the bow. The bow seems to just be a step above the musket with faster fire rate and a little drop off from medium range. Long range PvE and PvP seems to be outclassed by melee weapons like the hammer and the sword and shield combo. After watching and reviewing the alpha gameplay that we were given, you can tell the bow seemed much more relevant in PvP gameplay and it seems like it would be much more relevant in PvE gameplay as well. We have now made it through all of the ranged weapons besides the life staff and the throwing hatchet. So what do you guys think so far? I think that the ranged weapons obviously need some sort of buff and the alpha footage we were given doesn't give us much hope on the ranged weapons as the players using ranged in the footage seem to be very outclassed by all melee weapons during the PvP war. Now we have the hatchet. The hatchet seems to be the weakest melee weapon. However, because it can also be used as a throwing axe, this could be a great weapon to have. The hatchet allows players to be versatile and unique by selecting use of melee or range. This gives me the idea that the hatchet will be a great weapon when it comes to solo PvE and maybe even some group PvE content. However, it does seem to be outclassed in things like PvP War and potentially solo PvP. Number 3. Now we have the Life Staff. The Life Staff seems to be the only way of healing in New World other than consumables, and therefore it takes the number 3 spot. The Life Staff is going to be needed in almost all content. Whether you are doing PvE or PvP content, you will need a few people in your group to be using the Life Staff at higher content levels. We don't really know how strong the Life Staff is really going to be, however we do know that it will almost be mandatory in some content. Number 2. At the number 2 spot we have the hammer. The hammer looks to be very dominant in PvP war, and potentially even in solo PvP matchups. The damage output looks insane in the alpha gameplay footage we were given. The ability seemed to have crowd control and lots of damage. This weapon could potentially be one of the best weapons in New World for quite some time. I'm unsure how well the weapon will be in PvE content, as you will be a bit slower of an attacker than you would be with something like the Hatchet or uh, the Sword and Shield combo, because the Hammer seems it may be a bit weaker in the PvE side of things, and maybe even the small scale PvP side of things, the Hammer stops at the number 2 spot. Number 1. At number 1 we have the most basic of them all, the Sword and Shield combo. With the Sword and the Shield, it looks like you have plenty of movement, damage, potential PvP, and PvE content perfect for you. It seems like the most well-rounded of all weapons right now. I am speculating it will be used in most 1v1 scenarios and probably even most PvP content when the closed beta is released. Obviously, this will probably change a little bit. They won't have the Sword and Shield be the absolute best as it's probably the most basic uh, you know, combo you can have in the game. 
So just remember guys, this is all speculation and guesses based on alpha footage from the small amount of gameplay we were given. This information could be very off. Make sure to use the weapon you think you will most enjoy and not the weapon that may seem overpowered in the alpha footage, as I am sure there will be plenty of updates and balance changes before the release of New World. So thanks again guys for coming to today's video. Uh, I know we haven't done as many videos as I wanted to do, but that is partially because New World got pushed back quite a ways. So we're going to continue the content for New World. Uh, we may even slip other videos in there, but we really, really, really are going to keep focused on New World. And when that game comes out, we are going to go ham and you guys are going to see content and you guys are going to love the content. I can guarantee you that. So stick around, hit that sub button, like for more content, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.